Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, Woo! Woo welcome back, <laughs> welcome back to TTM Brox boys, uh, all the new subscribers, thank you, you're in for a treat, um, Sunday I met uh, one of my baseball heroes, I guess, yeah I guess I can say that, I met one of my baseball heroes, um, at uh, my church, uh, Grace Church, North Brunswick, New Jersey. Daryl Strawberry. Did this, uh, do two services at our church. I'm not gonna say my church because it's our church. It's your church if you watch it. If you, wa if you go on YouTube, which you are because you're watching me, click on Go On Grace Church, North Brunswick, New Jersey. You'll see uh, Daryl Strawberry's uh, testimony that he gave right so he autographed that in the middle of services he autographed this uh i also i also had a eight and a half by ten uh photo of him on the yankees which uh junior ended up with because junior gave me that photo to get autographed uh this this deal is in the making for two years right and i finally got to meet him on sunday so you can just imagine uh, my emotions on Sunday driving to the church. Uh, you know. So Junior gave me the picture to get the autograph. And he said, do that for me. Get this done. I said, well, I'll take it. I can't, I'm not guaranteeing, I can't guarantee an autograph. You know, I'm not, I'm not him. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to try to copy that signature. <laughs> That'd be wrong. Uh, but the deal was, so Junior gives me the um, picture to get signed, and then he said, "Okay, get that signed, and take this, take this too, take this uh, New York Mets jersey and get it autographed, right?" And uh, you can see the strawberry on the back, right? And then it's pretty cool. On the sleeve is a patch, twenty-five year patch. Uh, let me see. There you go. Right, anniversary. And it also has um, another patch on the front. Let's see, there you go, Daryl Strawberry. So he said, "Take that, take that jersey too. Uh, take the jersey, get signed." I'm like, "Man, this guy's giving me a lot of stuff to get autographed. You know, what's the what's the catch? What's, what's you know, what's the what's the deal?" And take that picture, get that picture signed, get this jersey signed. And once you get in the car and go with me, uh, he didn't want to go. He's not in a good way, you know. He's Got some leg problems, right? So, you know, my brother does a lot for me. So I said, all right, give me this stuff. Wrapped it up. Got the, uh, hold on. Got the jersey autographed on the number eight right there. Let me see if I can get that for you. There you go. Right? All right, on the number eight, right where it's supposed to be. He also autographed the, uh, the picture of him on the Yankees. <clears throat> and I got a, uh, I stopped off at Walmart and I got a $5 hat from Walmart, New York Mets hat, which, by the way, I gave to my father, a uh, big Mets fan, right? Big Mets fan. Um, him and I, my grandfather, too, his his father, big Mets fan. I'm a fan, like I said, I'm a fan of the, the person because the person gets traded, you know, what are you going to do? You're not going to like that team anymore? Or are you going to let follow that guy? You know, I don't know what the answer is because I never had that problem. But I love it when um, fans get, like, really crazy, you know, because it, it's, a, it's a, uh, a fan of the game, you know. Daryl Strawberry. Um, Grace Church, North Brunswick. Uh, our pastors there speak from the heart about their uh, their life and what they went through. <clears throat> All real. All real. Uh, like I said, go on. Grace Church, North Brunswick, New Jersey. Even if you don't go to church, you don't uh, talk about church, and I uh, hope I don't offend anybody by saying this, and even if you don't like the Mets, you know, because I showed the Mets shirt, even if you don't like the Yankees, whatever, if you don't like 
I guess he, I think he was on the Dodgers. If you don't like the Dodgers, you don't like even if you don't like Daryl Strawberry. I like can't see why he wouldn't. But anyway, even if you don't, um, because he's definitely one of the legends, right? Um, check out the check out that website though, uh, Grace Church, North Brunswick, uh, New Jersey, because um, if you if you're a fan of someone struggling in life and then overcoming all that all that struggle and not struggle I'm not talking about struggle with your finances I'm not talking about struggle with your your marriage your wife or your family I'm talking about inside struggle that's tearing you apart inside like and you're you're fighting yourself inside and it's it's, it's not coming out and that's what uh, unfortunately or I guess fortunately uh, Mr. Strawberry went through his whole life until now, until the, I think he said 1991. Um, that's when his whole life changed. But uh, you know, all he said he was a you know million. He, his pet, his uh, service is awesome. He was saying um, how he was a millionaire on the outside, but wasn't worth two cents on the inside. Wow. I thought about, and then he said also, he said in the service, after the second service, this was that he was talking about. So this is after I got everything autographed. And, you know, I have a big bag full of stuff, you know. And I'm really happy and I'm so thankful that I got to meet him and, you know, shook his hand and got pictures taken with, with him and all that stuff. And what he said on his in the second service was, uh, all these, all the autographs I signed, uh, however you said it, all the raw materialistic things, they don't mean anything, you know, they're not going to mean anything when you, you know, they could easily go, go in the flood. Like my No More Garcia Parra hat got ruined in a flood in my basement. Gone, right? The shirt can easily get, you know, lost someplace and move. The cards can break, whatever. <clears throat> What means it, it was when you heard the, the testimony from him, it's in your heart now. Whew, right? It's in your heart, it's in your soul, and you're living with it. So now, when I look at the jersey, I was like, I could just sit here and like, I could picture him up on the stage speaking. Might not make any sense to anybody, but it makes a lot of sense to me. Right? And if you ever watched Daryl Strawberry's... Um, on YouTube, the plays, he threw it all the way from, I guess, left or right field, the home plate, the ball. Holy cow. Also, he was on uh, Celebrity Apprentice, right? And I think he did pretty well, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if, that, if that's made up or whatever. But sometimes uh, we forget about these guys. You take that uniform off. And they're, fre they're flesh and blood, you know, just like us. And sometimes, you know, we shouldn't put them up as high as we do because we're all on the same level. He swings a bat. Awesome. Look at that. Awesome swing. Uh, I wish I had the, uh, the picture here to show you of on the Yankees because his arms are like fully extended. And like I said, the uh Flesh, whoo, flesh and blood, just like us. You know, they cut their leg, they bleed, you know, they have uh, human emotions. So if you go to a ballpark and you see one of the baseball players and they walk right past you, you ask for an autograph, they give it to you. But then you're like, that's the best you can do is just sign it like that, you know. Be happy you got it. Be happy you got, you know, you know 30 seconds of his time, you know. He's doing it. He's there to, you know, to make you happy. Remember that. All right. If you, especially if you're at the ballpark and they have to go back in or whatever they got to do. I don't know. Whatever they do. Um, anyway, I'm past way past my uh, five minutes. Thank you very much for sticking with me this long. The new subscribers. The next video, which I'm going to do right now after this one. I'm not cutting it yet. Um, you're in for a treat, all right, because I got a contest coming up.
Anyway, Mr. Strawberry. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. It's going up on the wall. And hopefully I will keep it away from water. And no floods will hit it. And I'm definitely going to take care of it. And then I guess my grandkids are going to take care of it. Because I'm going to let my uh, grand twins know the story. Right? Of the legend. Daryl Strawberry. Thank you. Stay awesome.